telephone operators become more polite, the US-Russian hotline goes into operation, and a company is formed that not only changes the movie-watching habits of millions, but disrupts an entire industry. It all happened this week in tech history. This week in 1878, Emma Nutt became the world's first female telephone operator when she was recruited by Alexander Graham Bell to the Boston Telephone Dispatch Company. Before her, telephone operators were typically teenage boys. Many of them were seen as rude by phone customers, so women were chosen for their more refined demeanor. In 1963 this week, the hotline communications link between Washington and Moscow went into operation. The purpose of the link-up was to prevent the risk of accidental nuclear war. The U.S. end of the hotline was installed in the Pentagon, and the Soviet end was in the Kremlin. Contrary to popular belief, these were not red phones. Teletype machines were used at each end of the 10,000-mile circuit. A tape encryption system was used to keep the messages secure, and the hotline was active 24 hours a day. This week in 1976, the unmanned U.S. spacecraft Viking 2 landed on Mars to take the first close-up color photographs of the planet's surface. Viking 2 landed not long after its predecessor, Viking 1. Both were part of NASA's mission to search for life on the Red Planet. While neither spacecraft found traces of life, they did find all the elements essential to life on Earth. Carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. And this week in 1997, Netflix was founded as the world's first online DVD rental store. With only 30 employees and 925 titles available, almost the entire catalog of DVDs at the time. They initially used the pay-per-rent model, with rates and due dates similar to those of its brick-and-mortar competitor, Blockbuster. And speaking of Blockbuster, in 2000, Netflix offered to sell themselves to Blockbuster for $50 million. The proposal called for Netflix to be renamed to Blockbuster.com and handle the online business, and Blockbuster would take care of the DVDs. Blockbuster basically laughed them out of the conference room. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Hey everyone, Cameron Graveline here. Remember, call in Winstop. Thank you. Visit us online at intotomorrow.com where you can find out how to listen to our weekly Into Tomorrow radio program and subscribe to our free podcasts. Catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.